Now, your exclusive seven storm team forecast. Good evening, everybody. Well, it's quiet right now. The quiet before the proverbial storm. It's going to get a little bit messy around here over the next 24 hours, at least as far as the rain goes and the cooler temperatures and the winds and so forth. It's going to feel a whole lot more like fall later on tomorrow about this very time. As a matter of fact, outside we go right now, the sleep tight weather cam showing not much going on. A quiet evening, Friday evening across the city of Quincy, and we are expecting the warm temperatures we had today to come to an end. Let's see where we stand right now. Readings have fallen back into the 70s all the way from Fort Madison. Keokuk, you're at 77. Same story, Quincy and Hannibal. And then we've got mid 70s elsewhere from Macomb back to Pittsfield. So it's a quiet night out there. Later on, after midnight, towards, say, 5, 6, 7 in the morning, that's when we're going to start to see a powerful cold front start to make its way into the tri states. Rainstorms will become quite likely across the region on through the day tomorrow. Much cooler air filters in behind that front. Temperatures fall tomorrow. Highs will happen early in the morning. Temperatures fall on west winds all through the afternoon into the 50s by this time tomorrow night. 77 degrees currently out at the airport. We have a partly cloudy sky. The winds are near 10 miles an hour out of the south. And that dew point still way up there, making it feel a little bit humid out there at 65 degrees. Now, 88 degrees was our high today. The low was 69. Both those readings coming well above average. The record 92, though, back in 1938. So we were four degrees shy of that, but well above the average mark of 70 degrees. So out there we go. We have uh, that front out to our west. The blue line indicating that punch of cold air that's going to try and move into our region later on tomorrow. Impressive, powerful storms up across parts of Iowa with this back down into Kansas and over into Nebraska. They had tornado reports over northeastern Nebraska and northwestern Iowa tonight. Injuries and some damage, but fortunately I have not heard about any fatalities. Now, across our own areas, we're not looking for severe weather as much as we're going to watch summer go bye-bye. The oranges and yellows pushed out. The blues come in, bringing in much cooler temperatures across the region. As a matter of fact, highs once again will be right about our lows tonight as we see temperatures fall back into the probably the upper 60s for lows tonight by tomorrow morning. That's going to be it for tomorrow, right around 70 or so for a high tomorrow afternoon. And then we'll see the cold air come in with the rainstorms and the winds out of the west gusting in near 25 miles an hour, dropping temperatures all day long. By later on this time tomorrow night, 51 or so here in Quincy with 40s just out on our western doorstep. So increasing clouds tonight. Chance of storms best late tonight. 69 degrees ought to do it for an overnight low. The entire region will have that chance of storms late tonight into tomorrow morning. Then for tomorrow, after lows in the 60s tonight, we're not going to see temperatures warm that much at all, probably up into the lower 70s for most areas. And then they drop. Like a rock in the pond, we'll see falling temperatures, rainstorms. The front comes through, winds gust out of the west at 25 miles an hour. Chance of rain area wide. Some good soaking rains expected in areas, and we'll see temperatures top out once again early on and then fall back into the 50s by evening. Your Illinois signal seven day forecast is going to show the chance of rain being included on Sunday. Now, this is new to the forecast. They didn't have this earlier, but it now appears that the upper dynamics with this system will move across the tri-states on Sunday, and that's good enough to bring us a chance of showers later on Sunday afternoon. And we are going to then see dry weather and temperatures in the comfortable 60s on Monday. Uh, I hope the rain holds out for tomorrow because there's that berry apple parade and then mud strut in Quincy. All so. I can say is bring your umbrellas <laughs> and your rain slickers. You're going to need them. All right. Thanks, Mike. Uh -huh.